Okay, so it's a Saturday morning and um, not much going on in camp. This is a Mecca hotel, a three-star hotel. And this is where Team Ghana have been based for the last three weeks of their pre-game scan. And right in front here, you see Madame Fulera, the team master, having a chat with the Paralympians. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Not everybody likes the camera. Some like it. I'm not sure Fulera likes it very much. But good morning, Madame Wu. <laughs> All right, so let's get in there. Try to see who we can speak to this morning. Um, beautiful morning here in the Scottish city of South Asia. Hmm, nobody at the reception. So this is the lobby. Breakfast area is just at the end. And that's the table tennis coach, Antonio Usanza. Good morning, Chief. <laughs> Sorry for bumping in, you know. all. just want to say hi to you, so I also wanted to say hi. 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 All right, so that's Coach Antonio Usanza, Akaide, Abrifa, Joe Sam, the all table tennis, the team captain. Okay. We'll definitely be coming to you. We'll have to speak to the table tennis players in a bit. And uh, the big man here is Javin Thurman. John, how are you? Okay, so there's the bar, breakfast area not too far away. Team had their breakfast not too long ago. Too. Okay, so who do we have here? Alright, there's a computer. Right there. Yeah, there's a man and he has two ladies by his side. <laughs> he must be a very lucky man. Indeed. Okay, Indeed. so that's Cillian George Walsh and he's the president of the Ghana Rifle association that's right okay let's get you to introduce yourself how are you doing okay i'm very well thank you yeah good to see you um yeah so there's a uh, we we arrived uh, two days ago uh with the, the the national team which comprises of there's four competitors so we have four athletes uh shooting in two different disciplines in the 50 meter three positions which the two girls are shooting in and then we have the guys are shooting the 50 meter pro um, and the, the shooting is, um, although it's, it's new to Ghana, it's one of the oldest Commonwealth and one of the oldest Olympic sports. Um, so this is a whole new, uh, a whole new development for Ghana. But we've got, you know, some fantastic talent drawing from different armed services. And uh, so I say the girls are, are, you know, have been we 13 in the, in the squad, the initial squad. I say so it's very competitive for four places. And um, so, so we have the two girls who are starting there competing on the 29th in the three positions, which is the most difficult discipline because you're standing, kneeling, and then also in the prone position, which is on the ground. And that's using the, the 0.22 target rifle. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's, that's quite a lot. I've tried to take it all in. Uh, so can you introduce the athletes who are with you now? Yes. This is Philomena uh, Sapak. Okay. And uh, this is, Cho uh, this is uh, Mercy Chodo. And uh, both from our forces, they can tell you more about themselves. Okay, so uh, can you can you also mention your name and tell us a little bit more about yourself, how you got into the sport? Okay, I'm Philomena Sabak in the Ghana Navy. Okay. I'm an able seaman class one. Okay. So how did you get into shooting? Oh, we used to have competition exercise fire blast in Ghana, where all the armed forces, the uh, the Army, Navy, Air Force come together to compete. So through that, we had uh, uh, the, the president uh, introduced the Ghana National Rifle Association, where we were supposed to also come and then justify our inclusions. So we came, some of us were selected and we came to come and try. So I was one of the fortunate ones and I was selected because of my performance. And then we started training almost two years ago, prior to this competition. Mm. Okay, and you're very happy to be here. Very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's speak. I mean, we're going to have to involve you again, Cillian, um, about this lady. How did she also get in here? Right, okay. Um, well, uh, uh, Mercy has been, uh, been one of the, our outstanding shots for a number of years and who has qualified a top shot in individual and team competitions in the Ghana Armed Forces Fire Blast competitions over the last few years. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, she was the uh, first ever uh, female, well, the course was the, the well, you came all fourth. All weapon, yes, all weapons basic instruction yes. course. Okay. First ever female to complete the course and came fourth. Out of how many did the course that day? 
44. So fourth out of 44. Yeah. So again, like you know, so uh, this girl has a fantastic knowledge, uh, uh, understanding, and also practical capability uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to, to firearms. So now we're in a situation where we're just trying to define all that down into you in behind the point two two rifle, which is quite a technical kind of uh, and sort of finely tuned sort of rifle mm -hmm. shooting over fifty meters. Because although it's it, the distance doesn't sound an awful lot, but you're shooting at fifty meters, and the target you're shooting at would be the same size as your f small fingernail, and you constantly have to hit that. So if you stray, you know, half an inch or an inch, you're out of the competition. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so it's quite competitive. Yeah. All right, I'm still trying to get it all in, but uh, we definitely need some demonstration at some point in time. But uh, can you please introduce yourself to us too, just as your colleague did? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, LS Chudu. That's leading Simon Um, leading Simon Chudu. Okay. Ghana Navy. And how did you get into the sport? Um, it all started when we went for recruitment, and then. During the training, we were introduced to weapon training, and as you know, soldiers and being a service personnel, you have to get a knowledge on weapon and then how to fire, how to get yourself safe when you are behind a weapon. So, definitely, we just involved ourselves and then we took the interest in it, and then boom, here we go. Okay, so um, you've been here just a couple of days. Um, can you tell us about your experience here in Scotland so far? Um, in fact, here is very lovely and it's a lovely country and in fact being the first time outside the country and then being here, in fact, I'm really enjoying myself to thank everybody for putting this or best in this. Let me put this in context. You're going to be the first. In fact, you're going to be making history at this competition. How does it feel to be the first Ghanaians to be participating in shooting? This is a really tough, let me say, experience that we have to have in this first team, which is like um, this is the first time we are to introduce the the sports into this um, competition and we are hoping that we do the best and then we bring out the name of Ghana so that okay. it will be you know like um, we are the first people and we are not bringing anything home but we are promising that we are bringing something big home yeah. so they should expect the best from us. Ms. Ali, and uh, what about you? Does it bring some added pressure on you, knowing everybody will be looking forward to you bringing something home, as you know your colleague just said? <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful experience, and I must confess, I'm very happy. I am one of the, the first to participate in the sport representing Ghana. This is the first time Ghana is bringing participants to uh, participate in the shooting competition. It's, it's a nice experience on its own. Um, um, I'm also expecting something. I'm also expecting to, to perform my best and then, uh, yeah, perform my best and I hope that something good will come out of it. Put a mark down. Yeah, put a mark down. How prepared are you? Um, <laughs> well, preparations, uh, we are prepared. We'll see, you know, we have some lapses, but we are okay. 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 The president can talk more on that, it can elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> They're pushing it onto you, so we cannot run away from this one. How, how prepared are you? Um, for, um, for okay, well, as I said, look, we, we, we've, been, we've been training for uh, on and off for, for about two years now, uh, and it, it took us okay. We had some difficulties trying to get weapons, um, basically funding together so we could actually import the weapons and start training with that. So there was delays there, but you know, the guys have a great ability, natural ability anyway, in, in shooting sports. Um, but just not behind the Pacific target rifle that they'll be using in the next week. Um, but it's a case of, through the assistance of the GOC, the GOC um, 
Commonwealth Federation, uh, um, the NSA, uh, Ministry of Sports, you know, there's been this collective, you know, support that have helped us propel and get us actually here today. Um, I say it is a first. It's our first ever competition. It's our first time outside Ghana. It's um, our first Commonwealth Games, first international competition. It's there's so many firsts. Um, and as well as I say, particularly for the girls, because they're in a very, very tough competition. Mm. Um, the comp you know, it's it's very, very. It, it is. It's a very, very tough discipline. So I said. Um, it, we're, we're expecting to do relatively well. I think for ourselves, by being here is a marvellous result anyway. We're just absolutely delighted to be here. Yeah. I think our participation in being able to meet the other athletes, see what the standard is like internationally, the exposure of this competition is just absolutely, it's, you know, it's, I can't say enough about it, what it'll actually do for these guys. So they'll actually see what the benchmark is and they'll see actually what the level is and how actually how, you know, they will have to, you know, the, what the training requirement is, what the focus, the concentration, you know, at the international standard. And that's great. So that's absolutely super. So even if we don't come away with any medals, you know, I'm very confident that we'll actually we will put in a good show, we will make Ghana proud, you know, and uh, we'll hold our heads up high when we go back home. And I said we'll put shooting on the map and that's what it's all about. You know. So who, who have been the people who have been helping you out, you know, um, with regards um, funding your activities in the country? Uh, well, we've been very lucky uh, in the fact that um, we have uh, been engaged with a number of sponsors. And there is three sponsors of note that have supported the, uh, the association and the national team. Um, we have OMA, and the shipping agency, uh, who very kindly gave us 40,000 Ghana CDs, which help us uh, refurb the, the uh, new point to to 50 meter range in Teshi um, and also enable us to buy one of the competition rifles. We have Solmed Alliance uh, who one of our new sponsors that have come on board and specifically gave ourselves money for another more competition rifles and able us to buy ammunition also to train uh, and also very kindly gave all our athletes um, some uh, some pocket money for this trip which is super. Um, and then we had the Scottish, we have a Scottish link in the Scottish Caledonian Society in Ghana also raised money uh, through their Burns Night and they donated a rifle uh, to the team. So with all those sponsors collectively we've been able to sort of, sort of buy kit, um, and buy the rifles, refurb the range. Um, I say Ghana is uh, the shooting is new to Ghana, so our costs were quite high, our setup costs. Um, but once we have a rifle, a rifle is good for about 20 years. So uh, the remaining of our funding and in our development plan is actually trying to get funds now to compete in qualifying uh, for the Rio Olympics. And our first qualifier is in September in Granada. So that's after this games, uh, that will be our next focus. But it's one step at a time. So it's a series of small steps, but we're progressing in the right direction. Cool. Thank you very much and we'll continue to follow your progress. Um, so you. in total, how many um, sportsmen women do you bring in? Uh, we have four. Uh, four. The, the contingent is six. Um, we have manager, coach and then we have four athletes. Yeah. Okay. You're the history makers. <laughs> continue to follow your exploits here. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you very much. And we we'll wish you well. Okay. All right. So um, as a shooting team, I'm very sure we'll be following you through to get the other teams and um, get it, get them very well previewed in the country and elsewhere as we continue our match towards the Commonwealth Games. Okay, team shooting over. Looking forward to the next edition right here.